This video will show you how to set up your reservoir loads onto your structure in CADAM 3D. So once you have defined your section, you go to loading menu and you have access to reservoirs. I'll click this. The reservoir dialog window is divided into uh, five sections. The first one is water levels, high load, floating debris, silt, and crest overtopping. I'll start first with water level. You have the volum volumetric weight of water that is can be changed here. You have as well the reservoir operating level that has to be set into the upstream and the downstream elevation. And as well for the flood level of the reservoir, the upstream and downstream elevation. So now I'm gonna set up the upstream elevation for the operating level to 430. And I'm gonna leave the default value that is entered here. And this is corresponding to the elevation of the foundation on the downstream side. For the reservoir flood level, the 411 correspond to the uh, foundation elevation on the upstream side, but I'm going to change that to 435 meters. My section, my crest elevation is at 433, so now I'm going to have for the flood uh, case an overflow, and I'm going to set my downstream elevation to 4. 111, so 4 meter of uh, water in the downstream side. High load. You have a normal case, an unusual case. By default, it's a 100 kilonewton per meter meter for the normal case, and for the unusual, is 150 kilonewton per meter. And the high thickness is simply that this will locate the uh, force. Uh, application point with, uh, with would be uh, half of the high thickness from the reservoir level. So we make the assumption that the height is floating, but the top of the height is at the same level as the top of the reservoir. So if you want to change the location of your highest of your highest force, you should play with the high thickness here. And then you have the floating debris. In case of you have an overflow of your section, then you can set up floating debris forces. Silts, if you have silts, then you can add them up here. So I'm gonna put it 100 and 420, so I have a nine meter height of silts. Effective unit weights, this is 9.2 kN per cubic meter. And a friction angle of 30 degrees and I'm gonna put it at rest. You have active and passive or as a fluid. So by default, you should use at rest here for the, the silt. And finally, for any case of overtopping and overflow over the section, what is the distribution of pressure along the crest? And your crest must have been defined into the geometry of the gravity section in this case. So I'm gonna set up as 100% of the pressure on the upstream and leave it as 50% on the downstream side. I'm gonna click OK. Now what I can see is surfaces that are colored now. So if I go back to model and colors and fields and then go to wet surfaces, I can see that my operating level for the wet surfaces is available while the flood level has, uh, has a render surface. I'm gonna set up a different color for that, and this one as well, okay? And then I'm gonna render all the surfaces. And silts, I'm gonna put it as brown. I'm gonna click OK now. Now that I can see is that the brown here, surface corresponds to the silt that is in contact with the upstream side and then the lighter blue corresponds to the normal operating level and then the blue here on top as you can see 
I have as well on the upstream and on the crest, I have a surface that is a darker blue, which corresponds to the flood level, and I have the same dark blue on the downstream side. This is showing the wet surfaces that was defined by the reservoir loading. That ends that video.